Uh, with interest rates going where they're going, and we've we've got uh, we've we've got the somewhat of the soft playbook of where that's going to go. I think some of uh, some sectors that have been been benefiting and will benefit from that, and I know it's had a pretty good move to it, is the real estate sector, right? You start mm -hmm. to see what's going on there. I think people got very, uh, in a good way, comfortable with interest rates being where they are and where they were for such a period of time, and you're looking at a 30-year fixed for, I don't know, seven, seven and a quarter percent. Once those start to tick down, we've already started to see that tick down. Um, I think, uh, you know, home purchasers, whether they're first time or second time or third time, they're not going to wait and pick that bottom of that market. They don't have time for that, right? They're going to start to see as soon as these ticks come in, the systems are going to automatically calculate how much savings that's going to be from from the higher from the higher interest rates. And we're going to start to see that activity definitely start to pick up. I don't think that pendulum and in interest rates is going to move as fast as we've seen or as we, we're going to want them to come back. But once we start trickling down in that lower six handle, maybe higher fives that we're going to start to see, hopefully in a, in a, in a basis where uh, the Fed can get it there. And I, I don't think it's going to be any time in, in 24. It'll be in the beginning of 25. We'll start to see real estate tick up. So, I start, so you're starting to see some of that activity preemptively uh, occur in that sector and some of the home builders. I mean, we've talked about financials. Financials have have weathered this storm back and forth. Yes, volatility associated in that sector. But I think with interest rate and new interest rate environments, we're going to start to see, again, it kind of all links in together. More activity on the mortgage side, on the banking side. Uh, money's going to be cheaper. People are going to start using it and wanting it. And I think the banks have been um, sitting on a lot of money for a while with interest rates where they were, maybe not lending out as much as they've had in the past. So I think I think we're going to start to see some free flowing there, which is going to translate in the financial sector. 